Zara's Gadget Repairs presents to you the iPod Touch 2nd and slash 3rd generation iPod Touch LCD and glass replacement. Parts available through ZarsGadgetRepair.com, the LCD, and the glass digitizer. Okay, we're going to start off by removing the broken glass, and as you can see, there's also damage to the LCD. The bolt tools you'll need is a metal sponge plunger and a little Phillips head screwdriver. Start off by working your way in the upper. If you have the home button here, um, right by the power button, volume button. I'm just going to feel around. There's a couple of clips. We're being very careful. If you're just doing the glass, you have to be really careful not to break the uh, LCD. Clip here, clip there. You can see how easy that came out. Here. Okay. And just work yourself gently around the corners there. Kind of lifting at the same time. There we go. See the iPod still works. It just has an ugly broken LCD and screen. Uh, gently. Use your little tool to lift that up. Okay. And you can see the broken glass. Okay, we're going to go ahead and remove this. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to blow this with some air. We like to do a little sniffing to it. There's a lot of dust and dirt inside. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the LCD. If, uh, you have one of these, these can come in handy too. You can get them through our store. But basically, we have to lift this LCD up to get underneath. To do this really carefully because it's glued on there. Okay, you can see it's still on, and the glue goes along here. That's why you see that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws to remove the shield, so we can remove the little ribbon cable, little cable that's attached to the logic board. You can always put them on your magnet.
forget this one here. Okay, you can use your little tool and carefully kind of wiggle this to the side. Okay. And you'll see this is attached here. So you could either use your fingernail or just lift it up from here. Loosens it up. You can see the back. Okay, the LCD. This is basically there's a little shield here. There's your broken parts. We go ahead and get our new LCD. There's a little plastic piece here for the adhesives right here. That's what we'll do. Let's first put our LCD in place and then test it. Boom. That works good. Okay. Now we just make sure that the place is I'm going to make sure that you align this. It's got a little, little uh, nub here and nub here that align little holes. So I'll make sure that aligns well. You want to put your screws back. The two uh, darker ones go at the bottom here. And the more silver looking ones. go somewhere else. Handy little tool, little magnet to magnetize your screwdriver. Works all the time. There, we got two more. Bring this back down, and I still have the cover on it because I'm gonna move it around to just gently feel for it. Okay, that should be in place. Put that shield on there. It's still working. Put our last screwdriver on there. Okay, to remove our cover. Everything's still okay. Here's our new digitizer. Okay, we can now remove the cover. Make sure you give it a clean so it looks good. Okay, it looks all good. It's always a good idea to get your air duster, air compressor, and just blow that a little bit. Turn this like this. Okay, or you can use your tool.
test it and see that it works. Okay. There it is. And you just press it down in place. There's your iPod Touch second gen slash third gen repair. Thanks for watching.